this is James from Humboldt Light Depth, and I'm here to show you how our Auto Light Depth Retrofit Kit functions. And if I'm smiling, it's because I've been messing up left, right, and center just to get this portion to you. This kit automates the tarp pulling process on your existing greenhouse. Our kits work on all styles of greenhouses, straight-sided, hoop houses, Quonset, Gothic, and many more. This kit works on greenhouses up to 32 feet wide and 150 feet long. Our kits include two electric motors, a pivot point, a controller, some plastic clips, and some self-tapping screws, and detailed instructions on how to set this up. is this is unrolling and it rolls really slow it's because it's geared to be able to roll up over a hundred foot in length of pipe and plastic so it's geared really low that's why it's going so slow but even still as slow as it's going it only takes about between five to ten minutes to cover your whole greenhouse it's designed to be a do-it-yourself you know installation on something that you already have and the better your product, your greenhouse is, and, the, and I'm not talking about the quality of the plastic and stuff like that. What I'm talking about is the better it was constructed, if it's level and flat and square, the better product, the better our product's going to work on that. However, I have many customers that don't have a level greenhouse and it's not square and it still works effectively. They just had to do a few minor touches to get it to work effectively, but if you have a square level one right off the bat, it's just going to be a lot easier to install and set up. Alright, so this over here, you can see the pivot point. This is the arm that stabilizes the motor, and then off here is the roll-up pole that runs the whole length of the structure, and that's designed to attach the plastic to so that it rolls all the way up and then all the way down evenly. All right, right now I'm going to show you how to attach the depth tarp to the greenhouse. You're going to want to come in from the underside and use the pipe clamps and screw up through into the wood. And you're going to want to do that on every rib. And then at the end, you're going to have to make a small adjustment because it goes out, so I'm going to show you. You have to pierce through the plastic and screw it from both sides. Now if you look at this sandwich right here, you'll see that it's actually two boards. You can see, and then on top is another board, so it's actually three boards that are one by four. When you put your plastic up, first of all, when you put your sandwich on, your stabilizing board on, you want to put it dead center lengthwise and widthwise so that it's dead center. You want to go as, you want to measure two, three times and get it as perfect as possible because every error that you make when you're setting it up is going to be magnified and you're going to have to do a lot more work undoing what you did. Installing the pivot point right here, it's really important that it is level this way you do not want it to be canted this way it's okay for it to be unlevel this way because the arms will compensate because it's a hinge point it will but if you install it completely level that's actually the best this is unrolling or closing as, uh, as you know we call it um, one of the things that you when you set this up you want to achieve is you want to get this as even as possible. You notice that this end is pretty much in line with this end right here. That, what I mean by that is this side's not way up and that side's almost all, and this side over down here is not all the way down. It's pretty even, which means that when it gets to the bottom, it's going to uh, hit the bottom evenly. And when you first set it up, it's not going to be like that. Not, I'm, I hate to burst your bubble. You just have to make adjustments. And the way to make the adjustments is when it's all the, first you roll it up and you go, oh, this side ran up too fast and this side was kind of lagged behind. So you unroll it all the way down and you come over to the section that ran fast and you give it a little bit of slack. You pull up the clips, give it a little bit of slack, put it back and then over to this side that ran fast 
you pull it off and you pull a little bit of the slack out and put the clip back on and then you run it again. You have to make several micro adjustments when you first install it. You know, there are a lot of misconceptions about light leakage from, you know, pinpoint holes in the tarp to little cracks that let light in. You got to remember that in nature, pinpoint holes are approximately the same thing as stars. And some cracks are, you know, what we call like a, a moonlit night. The presence of light itself isn't nearly as important as the amount of light that's getting through as measured in lumens. A plant cannot photosynthesize with a small, tiny amount of light, um, nor are most small cracks and leaks that significant. I'm not only the owner, I'm also a customer. You know, I really do believe in our products. The way this came about was last year, I blew my ACL out lifting with my buddy. At that point, I had no other choice but to automate. And so for years, I've been thinking about it. Having a blown out ACL laying on the couch really made me put rubber to the road and I was able to design it and I came up with this product. I really do believe in it. I know it'll work for you.